Okay, so now we're talking about background of the computer system for the day people. Day people are one of the most dangerous category drivers as they are more, they need to be more cautious as they are having a higher chance to be exposed to accident. The day person should not sense the horn, which is usually used by the drivers to alert others for safety purposes, and this will be dangerous to them. When there are sirens from the ambulance or the police and they are not aware of, this will also cause them to so them. So a horn detector system will help in the driving experience for the dead people. The system will alert the driver for different stations by building different LED. Detection system, which is a system to detect the car horn sound and ambulance siren, which is used to alert the deaf driver when there is a horn sound being recognized and the LED will light up instead of hearing it. By referring to the flowchart, we are using the fast Fourier transform algorithm to process the audio signal and sequential feed forward the neutral network to classify the type of sound. This indicates involvement of the SP and neutral network of CMCs. It also involves hardware abstraction level library usage of CMCs to control the LED after sound classification. After the sound is detected as car horn or the ambulance siren sound, the blue LED and the red LED will light up respectively. We train our model using the edge in box and first we need to have the detector, which is the siren, horn and also some background noise. And we process our data with the fast Fourier transform across the audio input and basically breaks it down from the raw audio signals to the uh, frequency buckets over the times. And the generated output is will be used by the Neural networks for the classic. And this is the output from the RCC, and here is the neural networks classifier. This is the model we have generated. And yeah, we also can test uh, the model, and it is, is meet the expectation, then we can export the library so that we can use all the SM to do more. The implementation of CMCs has used two software which are STM32QMX and XDM32QIDE. The STM32QMX provides a graphical user interface to configure STM32 boards and also generate C code. The generator C code is passed to STM32 IDE to have user code implemented for audio signal processing and train neural network library. First, let's go through the configuration in STM32 CubeMX. 11 pins are required configuration for our horn detection system according to the reference project and modification on the pins are needed as different boards are used. This is the table of the pins and the configurations being made. Next, we will generate the C code and use it in STM32 Cube IDE to build the code and upload the code into STM32 L4 R5. The user code implemented is referring to the reference project and modification is being made to change the audio detection pattern into horn sound and also included our trained neural network model with H impulse in the form of C++ library in STM32 Cube IDE. In this section, I will walk you through the demo of horn detection system. Let's go! This is the diagram of the hardware implementation for the horn detection system. The components are SPH0645 MEMS microphone board, LED, SDM32 L4 R5 board, and power bank as power supply. This is the mapping table of the MEMS microphone pin to SDM32 L4 R5 board physical pin which correspond to the pin definition in STM32QMX. 
the red LED will blink four times rapidly to alert the deaf driver on the existence of car's horn sound. Let us demonstrate the real application in a vehicle.